Show the tum tum. But I got the tum tum right here. Good morning, darlings. Today has started with a gorgeously pampering bath. I left a, a Bondi Boost um, Miracle Mask in my hair for a good 20 minutes. Um, full body exfoliation, the works. Oh, and I also tried, um, sorry if you can hear the noise in the background, Charlie's hoovering. I tried a new razor, which you might have seen on Instagram from a brand called Estrid. I think they're Hey Estrid on Instagram. I was sent this razor and I thought I'd put it to the test. Um, and it was amazing. <laughs> like I um, am doing laser hair removal on my underarms and on my bikini. And the day that you do the laser, you have to have a super close shave. So I used this and yeah, it was really, really good. Super close shave and it's quite weighty. It feels very good quality. So if you've seen those ads on Instagram, um, then I'm pleased to report it is worth the hype. Very good indeed. So today, because I've started with a nice pamper, I'm determined to have a productive day. I don't have too much I need to do on my laptop today, she says. Optimistically, the emails will start pinging in any second, but I really would like to have a mega clear out upstairs. I feel like that room um, in, in the room that's gonna be my dressing room, that just kind of becomes a place where I dump stuff because I don't go in there that often at the moment. It's really easy to just chuck stuff up there and kind of forget about it. So I do want to have another clear out of well, I definitely need to have a beauty product clear out because I was thinking we've been in this house for what, four months now? April 15, May, June, okay, three months. And there's so much skincare in particular, things like mascaras as well that I've not touched because they've been in the cupboards up there. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff which is off. And I've really enjoyed over these past few weeks just using the same stuff. I've just been using the same stuff every day while alternating between maybe three foundations, absolute max. And I quite like having a slightly smaller routine. So um, yeah, gonna have a big clear out. Now that the charity shops are open as well, um, I think I'll probably have quite a lot of stuff that I can take to charity shops. So that is the plan. I'm gonna drive to the post office later as well. Yeah, so I'm determined to be productive and just need, I need to start eating more healthily as well. I felt so rubbish and low energy yesterday after that mac and cheese. So yes, need to eat something green for my lunch. I might make a nice healthy soup seeing as it is another miserable day. My outfit of the day today is a typical working from home outfit. Plain white t-shirt, I have got my Ana Luisa pearl necklace on. Oop, no earrings. And then my high-waisted, these are the cashmere H&M um, leggings. And they are very, very high-waisted. I did actually debate sending these back, but I'm glad I kept them because they are super comfortable. Even though I got an extra small, which is usually my normal size, they are actually pretty long, quite big for me, but I think that's nice when you're relaxing from home. And then of course, my slippers. I actually got these at a GHD event before Christmas. That was so, so lovely. And I think they're called the Snuffette style. That's my very, very chilled outfit of the day. I'm not even gonna bother blow drying my hair, gonna save some of that heat damage. Um, and then when my hair is dry, I'm going to 
potentially um, do a bit of experimenting with a different style of curling my hair after yesterday's masterclass um, event online with GHD. The DPD delivery man has just been as well and I have a feeling the delivery is the rug for our family room so that will make a huge difference in there if it is. Uh, so yeah, let's go down and have a look. Daddy, I can't test it straight away. I have to test it straight away. You're such a naughty boy. Alright, well that, that is bloody perfect. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Feels good quality as well. The nice thing is it's not a pile, so it shouldn't get too fluffy. So you waited for hours. What if I told you? 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 What that looks brilliant. I'm happy with that. I know that the temptation could be for a slightly bigger rug in here, but I don't think we would have wanted it because honestly, I think once we get a little tiny little console table, we may not even get one. So we did, and then the two armchairs. Yeah, two armchairs. Mix. Daddy, I want to play. rug is in and size and color wise I think it is absolute perfection so where did you find this from darling so it's a brand called Benuta brand or website no um oh that's a good question we're big I'm fans I'm not actually sure about that we I'm, are big fans I mean but they mostly sell rugs right um we've got a runner in the in the entrance bit haven't we yeah but I'll be honest rug rug um, buying is difficult, isn't it, for the sizes? Yeah. But also, we the one we had before in here was too much, had too much of a pile on it. Which yeah. Which is not good for the dogs. Because it just gets everywhere yeah, and it's quite this. hard to clean. But so we wanted something um, that was quite shallow, if that makes sense. It doesn't have a huge pile on it, but it's still really lovely and soft. It's got a really nice kind of dusky pink um, fringing on the edge. It's and nice, it's just, it? it's nice because it's, it's pink so that it matches the walls but it, it goes really well walls, but it also adds a bit of texture yeah because i think we are blessed with the floor we've got in this house but it yeah. is the same flooring in every room so yeah. i think it's nice that we can in some rooms really showcase the floorboards and in other rooms mix it up a bit and dicky loves it i'm a huge fan it's very I soft on my tummy it. and daddy do you know the best thing I'll take my evening wee in this corner. You'd better not, you tinky. The best thing is, Daddy, it matches the colour of my tummy. Because my tummy is pink. I wanted to show you how this room is looking. Oh, let's turn the light on. There we go. Um, with the Soho Home green velvet cushion and um, this different bed linen set. So this one is from H&M actually. I think I might have showed it to you when I was unboxing it. I thought it'd be nice to try some more plain bed linen in here and I know that that kind of linen, quite almost raw bed linen is very much on trend at the moment, um, but it can be pretty expensive. So when I saw this set on H&M, I thought I would add it to my basket. I've also started kind of tucking in the bed linen because then you get to see the beautiful base of the bed as well and I do really like it, it gives it a little bit more of a kind of um, chic vibe than the ditzy floral of the of the Zara bed linen so let me know which you guys prefer I like both of them to be honest but I've just bought my coffee upstairs um, because I'm going to have my sort out in the dressing room okay I've just come into the bedroom before I start my epic 
tidy up and sorting mission because I always need some kind of background distraction um, when I'm doing a task like that. It just helps me to be productive. So last month, darlings, I introduced you to Surfshark and I'm very excited to be working with them again. Surfshark is a VPN, a virtual private network, and it's incredible. If you've used them before, you'll know how cool they are. I am now <laughs> addicted. So what it does is it places your device anywhere in the world. So for example, if you are really wanting to watch um, a US TV show, but you're based in Germany, you can use a VPN to place your device anywhere in the world. So it really is very, very clever. I found loads of different uses for it lately. The main one admittedly being Netflix. When I complete a series, you can go and see if there's a new series in the US or anywhere like that. And also the example I gave last time was if you are watching a TV program in your home country and then you go abroad, you don't wanna stop watching that program. And say for example, you're watching it on BBC iPlayer and I know BBC iPlayer doesn't let you watch stuff when you're abroad. You can just pop your VPN settings so that you're back in your home country and you'll be able to carry on watching. Um, so with Surfshark, you actually get an additional layer of security. So when you are browsing the internet, you have the peace of mind that there's extra security and privacy settings on your device. And when you have one Surfshark account, you can actually log into it from loads of different devices. I've got it on my laptop, I've got it on my phone, and it is so, so easy to use. So I've got it on my laptop home screen. I'll do a little um, record screen so you can see what I'm looking at. <laughs> so the last time I used this, I was in New Zealand. I was seeing what Netflix was popular in New Zealand. I'm gonna disconnect that. My recently used include Malaysia. So the reason why I chose Malaysia was I was putting to the test a TikTok theory. I saw someone on their TikTok doing travel hacks and they said that sometimes if you look at a flight in the UK or in the US, um, it'll be a certain price. And then if you use a VPN to put your device in a different country, then it might be cheaper. I haven't <laughs> found any cheaper flights yet, but that's what I was using it to browse for this morning. Using a VPN is perfect, for example, if you have finished um, all the kind of programs in the genre that you like on Netflix, for example, and you want to discover something new, you can really easily, I'll show you how easy it is. So this is the Surfshark app. Surfshark app. Um, you literally just click connect and then you can scroll through loads of different locations and decide where you want to be. My most commonly used is of course the US because they have so many um, more Netflix series there and they often have them sooner than we do here in the UK. If you want to give it a go, I have got a link in the description box down below. And if you use the code Mumbler, as in Fashion Mumbler, M-U-M-B-L-R, then you can get 85% off and three months extra free. So it makes it even more affordable. Um, and you also always, whether you use my code or not, to get 30 day money back guarantee but you definitely won't need to use that because once you download it and see how easy it is I'm sure you'll find so many uses for it I know I have in the month or so that I've had it I'd love to know um, let me know in the comments below what uses you guys have found for your VPN I know so many of you downloaded it after I mentioned it in the video last month so let me know what you're enjoying watching what have you discovered it really is um, great for entertainment especially at this time Time. Ah, so everyone keeps talking about this Zac Efron documentary. I'm pretty sure we can get this in the UK anyway. Zac Efron journeys around the world with wellness expert Darren Olean in a travel show that explores healthy, sustainable ways to live. Okay, I'm gonna download that. Okay, so now that I've got my series to watch in the background, I'm gonna head upstairs and do a little bit of organizing. <laughs> We had a delivery arrive today from QVC and this is quite what appears to be a random selection of products. So it's everything from the basket bag, the two um, ultra sun products and also this poof, 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 poof kind of seat item and they're all themed around Morocco. That was the vibe of the delivery. Basket bags are just my absolute favourite. I believe this is Lulu Guinness. Yeah, they have so many amazing brands like that on QVC. Have to admit, I did not know they did homeware. I'm trying to think 
where this will go. Maybe even in the Soho House bedroom, might take it in there in a second, but this is really, really handy. I think we're having another little heat wave next week, hallelujah. SPF 20, and it's got the glimmer in there. That sounds amazing. And this is a tinted face, so tinted moisturizing, anti-aging sun protection in the shade Honey, SPF 30 from Ultra Sun. So yeah, really cool delivery from QVC. Let's take this into the attic room and see how it looks. Okay, I've popped it in the corner for now next to the lamp. I always think when you visit someone's house or even in your own house, you always just need somewhere to pop your clothes when you are getting changed into bed or after a shower, things like that. So I think this could be a very useful little place to um, just pop your things. Have I ripped it down at the bottom? Oh no, so you can actually zip off um, the cover. I'm gonna spin it around though so that you don't see the zip quite as easily. A really, really cool pattern on this. I've just um, rediscovered my Michael Kors Smart uh, Sophie Access watch while I was doing the tidying, so I've popped that back on. Yeah, I think it looks pretty cool in that little corner. A very practical little poof. <laughs> I feel like this is a very unappetizing view inside my beauty drawers. It's all pretty messy and unloved because I haven't used them in so long. Um, but I really just need to check the, what's it called, the kind of sell-by timestamps. So that says nine months. I went to Courcheval with the organic pharmacy back in January, so that is still good, but I need to use that up. So I'm going to take that into the bathroom and... Um, use that one up. Liz Earl are usually, yeah, that's six months. Um, so unfortunately, I think that is almost gone anyway. That's going to have to go. Glossier Future Dew. It looks like it's actually separated um, and it is six months, but it's such a lovely product. I might give that a try tomorrow and see how it goes. 12 months on this Lizelle serum, but I know for sure that I've had that for more than 12 months. So I'm going to have to get rid of that one as well. An afterbite stick, that's hilarious, I haven't used that in ages. And that says 12 months, so that's got to go as well. Um, gosh, this would absolutely be devastating if I had to get rid of this. Okay, luckily the La Mer is 24 months. I've also got a La Mer eye balm here, I really need to use this. Oh my goodness, that says 6 months, okay that's going to go into the bathroom downstairs as well. All of these things are such lovely products, but because I've been doing my makeup downstairs every day, I just haven't used them yet. So yeah, need to get better at that. And then down here, we've got things like face mists, just added in my new Charlotte Tilbury ones. I do actually use this quite a lot. That's 18 months, this quarterly one. I don't know if that actually says on it anywhere, but I feel like because it's in a can, it's probably quite long lasting. So I don't think we're doing too badly and then and then to be honest in these drawers most of these powder things powders Tend to have a much longer lifespan. In fact, I don't think this even has anything on it from La Mer These liquids though. I'm a little bit concerned about by Terry. Yeah, annoyingly these don't have Any indication of how long you can keep them open for that's very strange. Oh That NARS actually says 24 months. So thank goodness. That's okay. This serum foundation from The Ordinary, I've had this for so long, that says 12 months, I'm going to have to get rid of that. Um, I don't think I've had this for very long, Oscar, I need to finish this, that says 9 months, that's another one that needs to come downstairs so I can use it more frequently. There's actually not as many products there that need throwing out as I thought, thank goodness. But then I think I did have a pretty big clear out before we moved from Clapham, so um, yeah, not too many duplicates and things like that. And I, I've been trying not to open too many new things. I have been sent a few new serums and moisturizers and lotions and potions and things like that from like new brand product launches, things like that. I look so shiny right now, I think it's just the lighting. Um, but I've tried not to open new things because it would be so easy to just have like nine serums, 12 moisturizers all open. 
at the same time if I was to try everything as it came in from brands. So yeah, now I'm gonna have a little sort of the area out here, the corridor, just to make it look a bit more tidy. It has become a bit of a dumping ground, um, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a little whiz through there and try and tidy that area up a little bit. I just came back into the family room and look who's enjoying their new rug. Oh, is that nice, Dixie? Yes, mummy, I'm really happy with it. Mummy, I'm not even gonna move. I'm not even gonna greet you, mummy, because I'm so happy on my new rug. Pim Pim. Charlie's latest gardening purchase. Moment of truth. What does it look like? It looks really good. It's not too obvious that it's there, actually, which is quite nice. Well, the whole idea is we didn't want to ruin the brick wall. Yeah. And bear in mind that I do think long term we're going to move this for Tinia because mm -hmm. it's really not happy here. Yeah. Um, and the one over there look, is really happy. Yeah. So that's what you've got to do with plants, is, as Monty Don would say. You just sort of play around a bit. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to put a tree in here, maybe, and then hopefully the clematis will grow up this and we'll enjoy life a bit more. So how come clematis like... Oh, Dexter. Dexter. <laughs> Every time. Let's go get your gardener's string. See, that's really dry. That's not good. This needs a bit. It's weird that it's dry and it's been raining. It doesn't look like it's in deep enough either. No, no. Mind you, it's quite deep there. It's quite. I think it. I think if anything, it needs just a bit of nutrients, maybe a bit of seaweed. But seaweed. I think honestly, that will do fine. It's this one that I'm a bit worried about because there is a disease going around. Hmm. This one doesn't seem to be too happy. He's getting shat on as well. <laughs> Whereas look at this one. This one's absolutely thriving. There's loads of buds on it. So that, that one will be fine. Well, we probably we... shouldn't move that metal rod. No, I think for now we'll try and trail it from one to another. Hmm. Could you just get a poo bag? <laughs> Could you please? My glamorous assistant. I'm going to go get some of that garden string. seen me putting together this week's bouquet from Freddy's Flowers. Um, this is the strawberries and cream bouquet. So when these beautiful lilies open up, they will be pink, which is absolutely gorgeous. They always take about a day to really come to life because obviously they've been in a box for a little while. Um, but this is last week's bouquet over here and it looks just absolutely stunning. So many lilies. I've just taken a bit of toilet paper and um, remove the stamen from the ones which have come out over the last couple of days. But I love the alliums in there. So many beautiful colors. Just a reminder, they very kindly sent a discount code, which I believe is Josie50, and you get 50% off your first two boxes, which is amazing. Um, so I'll leave a link to the flowers down below. Maybe there's someone that you haven't seen for a while during lockdown. I think it's a really good offer. And then you might have spotted another new addition to our fireplace, which is this little set here. So this set is originally, or it's designed for um, open fires, I would say. So you can use these to like grab bits of wood, although I guess it is quite useful for in here if there's a bit of wood that's not quite in the right position. Um, that's, I think the technical term is a prodder <laughs> to just move things around. But then this is gonna be really useful. So there's like a little scraping um, like a dustpan and brush, especially for fires. This is beautiful antique brass effect and this is from Amara. So there's a website called Amara and they've got some really nice homeware bits. Beautiful kind of oak handles and then yeah, I just think it really really suits this fireplace. I don't really know what else we need to add to the fireplace. Charlie's popped some logs underneath and then we've got the basket over there with more logs. Even though it's July, we did have the fire lit the other night when Chloe and Tom were over. Um, and it just makes the room so cosy. So as you can see, there is a little bit of ash on the floor there. So I'm just gonna wipe that up with the set. This is Dexter's favorite place to lounge these days. 
on the footstool. I just love this rug here, it looks so, so nice. And I think it's because he has prime viewing here. He can see daddy working. Are you watching me, big boy? Got a good view of Charlie over there, and if I'm sat here editing, he's got a view of me. I just like to know where my mummy and daddy are at all times, you see. I'm the little one. I don't, I like, I don't like to miss out on these vlogs, you see, mummy. Yes, yeah, so I have to be the star of all the vlogs. Brother. Did he just jump off that? Yes, he did. Hello, little chicken nugget. You two are quite ridiculous. Mommy, I prefer the underlay to the actual rug itself. I really like the underlay. You're a pain in the bottom. You're a pain in the bottom. A little heads up, one of my followers very kindly messaged me about this. So this is the magazine rack that we got from Soho Home. Um, I think Charlie paid around 120 or 130 pounds for it. Well, it turns out there's quite a good selection of Soho Home on a, on a website called Brand Alley, including this for 70 pounds. So we could have got it cheaper, which is a pain. Um, they've also got some really nice like leather bins. They've got loads of plates. They've got some of the robes for about 30 pounds or more less than on the Soho Home website, so um, <laughs> yeah, Brand Alley is a good one to check out. I don't think your brother wants to play, Dexy. I don't think Dickie's interested right now. Oh, but Mummy. We're having a nice walk, boys. Oh, Daddy, we're having a phenomenal time. Lots Dexy! Dexy! Dexy, a buttocks. Dick, Dick. Dexter! That was really for the camera, that was. Yes. Got the image stability. Oh, how weird. The sky looks blue in this camera. How weird is that? I can't see any blue in real life. Just got back from our dog walk. It was so funny. I don't know if I managed to get any video clips. If not, I will pop some of my Instagram stories up on the screen here. The boys were playing in the wheat grass. I don't know if it's wheat or barley. I should probably use my um, Picture This app, which a lot of you have been asking me about. It is called Picture This. What, the one where you take the pictures of the plants and it tells you what it is. I'm going to do that next time we do that walk. So funny because obviously the grass is like twice as high as the dogs. So when they're running through, you can just see like the grass moving. You can't see where, where they are. And then every now and then you just see some ears like flopping up from the, <laughs> from the barley, from the wheat. It is just absolutely adorable. Um, but yeah, we're just back now and Charlie's cooking dinner. I was taking some photos for him for Instagram. So he is thanking me by cooking dinner. I think we're just having a nice um, pesto pasta, which is just what I wanted to, to have this evening. Um, so I'm gonna do another question of the day and where has it gone? I'm backtracking here because I forgot to ask it in the video that went live today for me. So remember I'm two days ahead. Uh, but Kimberly has asked, hashtag QOTD, question of the day. You can leave yours down below if you've got anything you'd like to ask us. When and if you and Charlie decide to have kids, do you have any ideas what room would be a nursery or kids room? Well, actually, yes, we have been thinking about this. We would love to have babies someday um, and hopefully, yeah, well, hopefully we're able to because this house I feel is destined to be a family house. Uh, so I think judging from my friend Sophie's experience, uh, she is now pregnant with baby number two. I imagine the first like, is it six months your baby stays in your bedroom with you, which is great because we have a lot of room in this bedroom here. Um, and maybe if they are quite a big crier, <laughs> then we might use the room through the bathroom. So if you remember, through here, I don't like that you see the B-Day as soon as you walk in. 
B days have differing opinions on various people, um, but yeah, I don't, I don't think they're the loveliest of thing. But anyway, <laughs> through this door is, it is going to be Charlie's walk-in wardrobe dressing room. Sorry, all the lights are off. But as you can see, it's ginormous and obviously very practical. So maybe we'd put a cot in here. Not too sure. Um, but that would never be a proper nursery instead. So just to give you an idea of the layout of the house, if we go out of our bedroom, because obviously we wouldn't want to be too far away from any little babies. If we go down these steps and then down this little higgledy piggledy corridor, this is where the bedroom that Charlie and I originally stayed in is. Um, sorry, it's unmade at the moment. But I think this would make sense to be the nursery. It's a lovely big room. It's a beautiful room. It's very easy to access from our bedroom. Um, and I think colour-wise and just the general feeling in here is really lovely. Plenty of storage. I think we could potentially put some little shelves up behind the fireplace, pop a chest of drawers over on that wall there. We've got the new lights in this room, but we are planning on painting it, but we'll keep it, keep it quite neutral. And obviously this room has got a bathroom, which is brilliant, and an actual bathtub, which is best for babies. And then I guess it would depend if we had a little boy or a little girl. I think if we had a baby boy, um, then maybe the room which is the snug cinema room, maybe that would be a little boy's bedroom. Obviously the pink room, I love that room so much. I'm sure I will be willing to give it up for a little girl one day. Um, but for now, I just love the thought of having that as a guest room. I guess, yeah, it just depends. I think once a little person grows too old for this room, then, well, it depends. Like if we have a couple of babies in quick succession, maybe they would share the nursery. I don't know, but um, we're very lucky that we do have a bit of choice in this house, but I think this is the room that we have pinpointed as the potential nursery. Uh, while I'm here, I don't believe you guys have seen this mirror. It is perfect for this space. So we got this from a website called Olivia's, and actually we've got quite a few mirrors from this website now. They are really, really gorgeous. Um, I think it's fantastic how big it is. and. I am not the tallest, so it's nice that you can um, <laughs> see yourself in it, because sometimes I really have to go up on my tiptoes to have a look in a mirror, but it's a fantastic size with a gold edging, which works perfectly for this bathroom, because we do have gold features in this bathroom. And that was Charlie just shouting up that my food is ready, so I'm going to go downstairs and enjoy my pesto pasta. Lovely. This is a momentous occasion. <laughs> what do you call these? I don't know. I wonder if other country and other countries have these. I'm not being or... funny. I know this sounds really biased about the UK, but as we know, with like the US, they don't actually have any houses old enough for a lot of these. <laughs> It's true, so though. True. It's true. It's true. So if other countries don't have this, basically in the UK, if a famous person was born or lived in a certain house, you see them quite a lot around what London. What do you think the rules are? Does it have to be really old? Like, would J.K. Rowling get one at her house when she dies? <laughs> not anymore. Well, not anymore. Yeah, probably um, not. I don't know. Mm, probably, yeah, probably. Because, right. like, Roald Dahl's got one. Marcus Rashford needs one. Yeah. But anyway, most importantly, and far more important than all the aforementioned people, Dexter and Dickens live here. So they have got their very own blue plaque. I don't oh, know the official name Chloe of them. Chloe and Tom. Uh, is it heritage? Because uh, you see purple ones in London, right? I think the colour varies based on what type of... Um, it's kind of like the Hollywood star of fame, isn't it? Except oh, a little bit more... Um, 20 times better than that. Yeah. They're a lot more rare. Yeah. I mean... I think they actually add value to a house, if you buy a house oh, yeah. with one. But this is where we live, you see. Yes, where are the children? There's one little Where's doggy. Treat, Daddy? There's one out? little doggy. Yeah, I feel Where's like we didn't explain one? that very well, but in the UK, um, if a famous person has lived in a house, then the house gets awarded like a blue placard. Um, and you do see them quite a lot around London. Um, I'm trying to think who's we've seen in real life. Um, I don't know, but I'm sure there's like tours you can do all around London to see where famous people have lived. And Mummy's going to put a few more dry biscuits in your bowls because you have been quite peckish lately at night, haven't you? And 
while I'm here, darlings, I'm going to bid you a good night. And I've gone blurry. I'm going to bid you good night. Thank you for watching today's vlog. I will see you tomorrow my little stinker. I will see you tomorrow for another video. Um, we are going to Zoe Farmhouse again tomorrow um, with Hannah who I went to the farmhouse with last week with Vicky and her boyfriend Cal and they're coming to the house as well so it's really exciting to be able to show our friends the house um, with the new rules but um, yeah it's gonna be a good day tomorrow so I'll see you then. Good night. I hope you're having a lovely evening from myself and little Dickie. Dixie is still outside exploring. Good night from me and my mummy. Good night, everybody. Why are you so cute? Why are you so, so cute? Puppy, you like a treat? Mummy already got them out for us. No, Mummy, they're not our evening treats. Yes, they are. They're just a, an elevens is snack. <laughs> evening treats, we have proper treats. Mummy is slippery. So slippery. We don't get one of these ones that keeps us a bit busy. See, the whole point of evening treats is to keep us a bit busy. One spin. Two spins. You get it first, right? You can such a good boy. Okay. I know, boys. Good night, my sweet little angels, who I love more than anything else. What's really nice? They did actually get. They've got the date that we actually moved in as well. Yeah. How lovely is that? Yeah. <sighs> good night, angels. Good night, boys. <laughs>